It's a baby step, but an assembly committee today okayed exploring a controversial idea, building a casino in North Jersey. Supporters say it's significant because in the past, South Jersey legislators shot down the idea, afraid the increased competition would further decimate Atlantic City's struggling gaming industry. But the bill's sponsor is betting the potential financial benefits of bringing gaming to Bergen County will win over naysayers. Deutsche Bank, for example, uh, had a study maybe two years ago said that a Bergen County casino would produce a billion dollars a year for the state of New Jersey. So it's the most valuable piece of real estate on the eastern seaboard that's being ignored. It sits in the shadows of America's largest city, America's number one media center. Uh, the demographics are strong. Uh, it's an important part of the state's economy. But South Jersey Republican Assemblyman John Amadio voted against the bill. He thinks it's too early to consider expanding gaming in New Jersey because it could undermine what he sees as progress in Atlantic City since the governor implemented a five-year plan to help revitalize the gaming resort. We created a tourism district. The governor of the state has taken control. We brought the CRDA under an umbrella, and all that has been very successful. We've seen a lot of things happen in the positive. Why would we change direction now? Atlantic City casino revenues were up more than 3 percent in October compared to October of 2012, but that's because Superstorm Sandy shut down the casinos last year. Overall, gaming revenues declined in recent years as neighboring states continue to open casinos. Pennsylvania, for example, has moved uh, their gaming destinations out of one location. They're destroying us. They're second in the country. They just passed a constitutional amendment in New York. They're going to open up seven casinos. If this continues, there'll be no market to go there, all right? So we've got to deal with this by a number of, re a number of ways. Our non-gaming revenues are, exceed all expectations. Casino gambling is going to be what it is because of competition. You're not going to improve on revenue if you expand it. If the bill passes both houses, a 13-member commission will be formed. It will issue a report that will likely include recommendations that will be submitted to the governor in about a year. At the State House, I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.